Freedom is mighty sweet. Liberty sows its seed at Farm Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Tonight, planning for spring already. Isn't it crazy how quickly time flies? We, I don't know when I'm going to post all these videos, but we picked up a greenhouse for like 50 bucks. Of course, you know, some assembly required came in a box the size of a pack of matches and, you know, supposed to be a six by eight. So that'll happen. We're actually in the process of building that as I film this. But we have our little grow cabinet. I don't know if I ever... Well, yeah, I did. I showed that video. It wasn't exactly popular. None of my farming videos are. It's so funny. People are always like, why, is it, why do you call yourself a farm? You're always doing radio videos. But the truth is I do make farming videos. It's just that no one watches them. So <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm going to stop making them, though. And that's why I'm making this one right now. Our little grow cabinet has conventional... Um, incandescent and we do have a large grow light in there that is uh, fluorescent but it is it is like five or six years old some of the coils have burned out on it so it's not exactly working very well I started looking at getting LED replacements came across this uh, this company I actually got that like super bright light for my garage from the same company that made that it's like screws into a regular light bulb but it was like 60 watts of led and it had like an adjustable thing anyway so when i saw the name i was like well that that thing's been working for a year or two so let me check that out my wife and i did some research and uh, came up with these these are 70 watts a pop so 140 watts what model number is this thing here it is the LED grow light model C2020-DE, and it is 70 watts, right? And so uh, full spectrum should be should be nice. Should be a considerable upgrade from the fluorescence and the incandescence that I was using beforehand. So let me go take this out. I'm not gonna. Well, I'll bring it inside, I guess, and and film the second half of this video here later on in the winter time. But I just want to show you the kind of unboxing of it, and uh, and then I'll make like take a look at my grow cabinet part two, where I show where we started all our seeds. So our plan is, of course, we're gonna we're gonna you know put this in there. We're gonna get all our seeds started, say in you know early or mid February, grow them out until the end of March inside, and then we're gonna move them into the greenhouse at the end of March, grow them through the end of May, or at least the middle of May in the greenhouse, and then. Put them in the ground so this process will hopefully help speed all that up and make for some healthy looking tomatoes next year here we go light up your world right so that's kind of cool uh, light up your life it says there there's the manual can't be a whole lot to it other than maybe install and plug in but let's take a look yeah it just talks about operating wattages and temperature use and so on and so forth all right, so let me go ahead and take one of these out of the box. Looks pretty darn cool on uh, Amazon. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a little heavier than I thought it would be. Set that aside and let's take a look. Wow. Very interesting. So it's got a bracket here. This is what we liked. Our plan was we're going to take that, you know, you're going to put a bar across the top, we'll lower it down to start the seedlings, and then as they grow, we can raise that back up. So that's really nice. And there's a lot of airflow going through there. So this thing must put out some serious heat, which is actually not a bad thing because we keep our house fairly cold because, you know, we're poor. And uh, it does sometimes affect our little seedlings when it's a really cold night and it gets down into the 50s in the house. Um, so let's go ahead and I want to plug this in and try it out. Probably going to blind myself and everyone around me here, but let's do it. Whoa, holy smokes. I think that's just the way the LEDs are sitting. Okay, but boy, it does put off some heat. You can feel it. Man. <laughs> Significant. And I'm not going to point it towards the camera, that's for sure, but... Um, Suitable for wet locations is kind of nice, too, because obviously, you know, we do water them and stuff, but... All right. And it also looks like it comes with this little metal clamp there, so uh, if you wanted to hang it higher... I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, looks like some kind of a safety so that it wouldn't drop down on anything. Very nice, very nice. So anyway, in part two of this 
I will uh, show you how we have that set up. And maybe, no, even though no one ever watches any of these videos, maybe in part three, I will show you how the plants did and kind of give you a comparison, in my opinion anyway, of how it compared to the old fluorescent tube uh, grow lighting that we had installed before. That'll do it for today, though, my friends. And I hope you all are already thinking about spring because it'll be here before you know it. Till next time, take care. Thank you.